हेलो माय स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल रॉय डिजिटल चिल्ड्रन टीचिंग सेंटर टुडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज काउंटेबल नाउन एंड अनकाउंटेबल नाउन ऑलरेडी वी हैव डन आवर प्रीवियस टू चैप्टर्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन आवर वीडियो येट देन चेक आवर डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वी प्रोवाइड द लिंक देयर ओके Let's start the video. First, we do a exercise. The nouns in the passage below we are highlighted. Sort them into nouns that can be counted and nouns that cannot be counted. Here I tell you shortly what is noun. Nouns are the naming words. Naming words of people, places and things, okay? Some nouns we can count it some nouns we cannot be counted okay let's read the passage it was a terribly rainy day but i had to go out my mother was ill and she needed some medicine we needed food my father made a list for me i would buy milk sugar butter tomatoes onions bread and eggs i walked in the rain under my umbrella after a while i realized that i had forgotten to bring the prescription here the word day we can count the days and uh, i tell you one thing that the noun that can be counted also be converted from singular to plural okay we can convert it day from singular to plural right we can count mother father least tomatoes onions eggs okay we can count umbrella and prescription but we cannot count medicine okay we cannot count food we cannot count milk sugar butter and bread and now here i give you the list you can take the screenshot let's see the question in the first column below write the nouns that you can count add a s or e s to make them plural in the second column write the nouns that cannot be counted okay nouns that can be counted plus a s or e s like days mothers fathers tomatoes onions eggs umbrellas prescriptions and list and the next one is nouns that cannot be counted medicine food milk sugar butter and bread okay we cannot add a s or e s to make them plural so what do you learn from this exercise that is what is countable noun and what is uncountable noun countable nouns are nouns which we can count like an apple two flowers and uncountable nouns are nouns which cannot count like water and rice okay and now we look the differences between countable noun and uncountable noun read about the differences between countable and uncountable nouns in the table below countable nouns have singular and plural forms already i told you that countable nouns have singular and plural form like apple apples book books but uncountable nouns have only singular forms and cannot be turned into plurals like rice honey but we cannot say rises honeys okay we can use a n or number words before countable nouns like an apple a ball tin cats tin books we cannot use a n or number words before uncountable noun like one water a milk tin air we never can say that next is we can use many a few before countable nouns like a few boys many fruits next is 
we use much little before uncountable nouns like much tree little water okay and now let's practice underline the countable nouns and circle the uncountable nouns uncle prashad has 10 pets who eat a lot of rice we can count the pets but we cannot count the rice so the word pets is the countable noun and rice is the uncountable noun a similar pour water into a pot to make tea water and tea are uncountable noun and pot is countable noun a two spoons of sugar and some milk are in the two cups spoons cups are countable noun but sugar and milk are not countable so they are uncountable noun don't keep the insects in the jar put them back in the mud here we can count insects jar but we cannot count mud next one when my friends come we eat tasty food and play games we can count friends games but we cannot count food we can count the food items but we cannot count the food okay now we solve another exercise write c for countable nouns and u for the uncountable nouns in the sentences below the children are playing in the garden we can count children and garden so they are countable noun i don't like soda but i like curd we cannot count soda and curd so they are uncountable noun my aunt uses a lot of butter to make cakes we can count aunt cakes but we cannot count butter so aunt and cakes are countable noun and butter is uncountable noun there are many windows in our classroom we can count windows and classroom so they are countable noun do you have some glue to fix the vase we cannot count the glue but we can count the vase so glue is the uncountable noun and vase is the countable noun our two neighbors are nice people neighbors are countable noun and people are uncountable noun there is not much oil in the motor bike oil we cannot count the oil but we can count the motor bike so oil is uncountable and motor bike is countable noun the road is slippery due to snow we can count the road but cannot count the snow so road is the countable noun and snow is the uncountable noun can the players have some juice please we can count the players so the word players is countable noun and juice the word juice is uncountable noun there's a lot of sand on this beach we cannot count sand so it is uncountable noun but we can count beach so it is countable noun uh, now we practice another exercise to clear our concept about countable noun and uncountable noun underline the uncountable nouns add s or es to the countable nouns nasir has dark hair and brown eyes nasir has dark hair and brown eyes we cannot count hair right but we can count eyes next is nasir has meat rice and vegetable for lunch we cannot count meat rice and lunch but we can count vegetable so the answer is nasir has meat rice and vegetables for lunch he sometimes had sandwich he sometimes had sandwiches we can count the what sandwich okay he drinks water after having his meal we cannot count water and meal so water and meal are uncountable noun his dog has learned a new trick 
here you can see his dog is the subject and we already know that we use verb according to the subject when we convert the word dog from singular to plural because it is a countable noun then we write the verb have according to the subject so the answer is the dogs have learned new tricks here we cannot write a in the answer because we convert the word trick from singular to plural so the answer is his dogs have learned new tricks today he completes his homework in the evening we cannot count the homework but we can count evenings one evening two evenings nasheer likes to dream about a beach and holiday the answer is nasheer like to dream about beaches and holidays we can count beach and holidays okay and now we learn a new thing when we have to add the number of uncountable nouns then what will we do to talk about the number of uncountable nouns we use a piece of a box of a can of etc before the uncountable noun let's see some examples i bought a sheet of art paper for my project okay a sheet of art paper we cannot count the art paper okay so we write here a sheet of art paper my young sister carried a bucket of water to the garden we cannot count the water but we can say that a bucket of water a similar neetu gave me a can of milk we cannot count the milk but we can count the can of milk let's see the exercise now fill in the blanks with slice tube bunch loaf bowl tub or curtain we use the words for uncountable nouns let's see the answer i went hiking with my friends last sunday mom packed a bunch of grapes and a curtain of juice i had a loaf of bread for lunch i also had a bowl of soup we used a tub of butter with it we would have loved a slice of pizza but there was none what else did mom pack a tube of toothpaste to clean my teeth what is a bunch of grapes a carton of juice a loaf of bread let's see their picture here you can see the picture of bunch of grapes here it is the loaf of bread and it is more than enough for a person a carton of juice a bowl of soup okay a tub of butter you can see the tub of butter a slice of pizza and a tube of toothpaste okay and now we see another exercise use a or some before following words we can use a before the countable noun and some for the uncountable noun a packet of chips chips the word is uncountable but we can count the packet so a packet of chips as similar a glass of milk but we cannot count the water so we write here some water a jar of lemonade some sugar we cannot count the sugar a similar some butter now remember one thing countable nouns can be counted we can use them as singulars and plurals uncountable noun cannot be counted so we cannot add a or es to make their plurals okay and now fill in the blanks using how much or how many we use how many before the countable noun and how much before the uncountable noun how many apples are we carrying 
to the picnic how much water should i pour in your glass i don't know how much money we cannot count the money i should spend on buying new books how many pins does rohim have how much milk should a puppy have okay and now we see an activity first see the picture carefully here you can see a lady buy something from the shop now imagine that you are going on a picnic sit in a group of four discuss what will pack for breakfast and lunch plan your shopping by making a list write the amount for each food for example like four loaves of bread six cartons of juice and draw pictures of the food that you plan to buy read out your list to the class and show your pictures and now it is our revision time nouns that we can count are called countable noun nouns that we cannot count are called uncountable noun and we cannot make their plurals right here we complete our video if there are any queries let me know in the whatsapp our whatsapp number is 9035304154 and don't forget to like our facebook page that is at dctc roy digital children teaching center okay let's see the next chapter